Hi, Zan. I'm Hugh Sun coming to you from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And the market we're looking at today is one that's very interesting in my opinion. We're looking at the U.S. dollar and its relationship to the Japanese yen. Now, I cut my teeth in trading currencies, and I've done very well in the Japanese yen. And this is what I'm seeing right now. When you have the USD first, USD, JPY, it means that the lead market, in this case the USD, is the one that's going down. If it was going up, it would mean, that, like here, the dollar is improving against the yen. And when it's going down, it means the dollar is evaporating or eroding against the Japanese yen. So let's take this off the screen and let's look at some of the things that we do have marked on here. And I've left, I purposely left our monthly signals on. Here's a signal right here. Here's a signal here. Here's a signal here. And here's our last signal, which just took place. And you can see at 93.83, the market's at 92.96, so about one yen ago, indicating that the dollar has started what I think is going to be very similar to this pattern right here, moving down. Now, let's take a look closer in and what I see is the potential downside target for the dollar against the Japanese yen. Okay, so I've switched to a Japanese candlestick chart as it's sort of somewhat apropos, but this is the key level to look at. I, I think this level right here, I just double line that we can actually draw straight lines with Market Club using the trend tool, but the fact is the market has gone below this line. We've got a monthly sell, which is a major, major thing. We're reading a 90% downward trend. The key thing for me in this market is going to be tomorrow, which is Friday. I'm doing this Thursday live at around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But we've got a lot of what I consider energy above this market. Look at all this, what I call energy fields. So looking from, let's say, this area right here. I'm going to be a little bit conservative. I'll go from this area right here. And that's around 94 to this area around here, which is around the 100, 101 level, if we want to be conservative. Let's say 100 to be conservative. So it's 6 full yen subtracted from 94. So you've got 94 minus 6. That gives you 88. So the target for the dollar right now should be around 88 yen to the dollar. And or we should see the dollar going to 88. So that's what we're looking at and we have got history for that. And here we are right around the 88 level which is down here. So this is how I'm seeing it. I think this market's going to be under pressure. I think the fact it's broken through these key areas here. The fact is on Friday if we're seeing the dollar yen, let's say trading right around the at a new low, not a new low, but something close to the lows for the week, you definitely want to be short the dollar for the weekend because the opportunities, the chances are for the dollar to be lower on Monday are extremely high, extremely high. So I would say take a look at this market. We're looking for the dollar to continue to erode down to the 88 level, and that's how we determine the target and I think we'll see that happen. So we can scope this out a little further, see the bigger picture. I'm going to go to max view. It's very easy to do. And you can see, I'm going to take all the, you can see basically the dollar has been, moves down in a series of very large moves. The last ones we saw was right here. And you can see how this, it looks like one ma major leg down, possibly to new lows. So let's see how that works out. Adam Hewison for Market Club, looking at the dollar-yen relationship. Let's see what happens this weekend. Thanks for watching.